listening and viewing audience, do I have a treat for you. We have Mr. Basketball himself, Todd Penn. I mean, back in the day, you would hear Todd Penn's name in the barbershop. You would hear it at, 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 on the, at the high school. Everybody that talks about the history of basketball in Columbus, they always mention Todd Penn. He was everybody says that he was the best guard that we have ever had in our city plus he is uh he played uh at linden where they won a three-time championship uh uh state championship and then he went on to ohio state university but i'm going to put him on and and you wait till you hear this story it is his, his life story is inspirational for everybody that is interested in the field of basketball but how are you today mr penn how and thank you for being on my show oh, listen thank you so much for having me um i'm grateful today yeah i mean yes. I, I, i'm just i'm grateful i got to see my wife my grandson you uh -huh. know work today uh -huh. and uh, came home you know i came into a house yes with yes. running water Yes, yes. You know, washing clothes with a washer and dryer. Yes. You know, I mean, just opening up the refrigerator. Yeah. And have food in there. Yeah, yeah. Could you? Yes, ma'am. I'm grateful for that. And could you tell the audience why you feel so grateful about that? I mean, when you told us about those things at the Greater Columbus Basketball Legends Association, uh, you know, it it made us feel more grateful. Well, you know, yes. it's, 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 it's just so wonderful to know that God extended his grace upon me. Mm -hmm. And when I say I'm grateful just to be able to walk in a house, there was a time I didn't have a house. Mm -hmm. When I, you know, when I say, you know, I'm grateful to have food in the refrigerator, there was times I didn't have a refrigerator. I didn't have no food. When I when I when I say I'm grateful for for these things, these things that I used to have was taken away from me because of my drug addiction. Mm -hmm. And I lost everything. Mm -hmm. I lost everything. So I'm grateful that the like Lord on top of the world. Well, you know, at but that time you were on top of the world. I mean, everybody was uh Absolutely. I, and you know what? And I've never been a big headed person, but things would, you know, listen, I had a mother and father in the house. You know, my four other brothers, they played ball, graduated from major colleges, you know, and, and you know, who, I mean, I didn't know that I was going to have a wilderness mm -hmm. for 20 something years. Ooh. Didn't, know, didn't know it. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, we always think that things are going to be good. You know, you playing ball and you recognize and, but you know what? I didn't have a plan B. You didn't, didn't have, have a plan a, B. I didn't have a plan B, I, you know, and you know, the, the, the Bible says the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. Uh -huh. and, and, that's, and that's what he was trying to do. Mm. But God, but Jesus says, I came to give you life and that's more right. abundantly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the devil went to God on my behalf but he said no you can take him through this wilderness but you can't take his life because i'm going to use him one day he doesn't know it but i'm going to use him one day uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes ma'am uh, you know you you transition from from high school to college what was that like to but, move it was exciting you know listen uh -huh. you know being a young a young child and and i had several colleges you know coming to my house mm -hmm. coaches you know coming to our practices mm -hmm. but i chose ohio state because my mother and father was here mm -hmm. and i wasn't used to, to to being away from them mm -hmm. so i chose ohio state so i can be close to home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was a wonderful experience mm -hmm. uh i met nice people wonderful ball players mm -hmm. played against Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas and Kevin McHale, you know, we, we was able to go overseas and play mm -hmm. ball, mm -hmm. a wonderful experience, mm -hmm. but 
it stopped there mm -hmm. because as a kid, all I wanted to do was play pro ball. Mm -hmm. And when I got to a house, say it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. it, it just, you know, for whatever reason, you know, I wasn't playing like I thought I should be playing mm -hmm. and, and get depressed, you know, not, not wanting to go to classes, not wanting to go to, to practice, mm -hmm. just depressed all the time. Mm -hmm. And the only way I got out of that depression is by using drugs. It wasn't so heavy back then. But... Yeah. Oh, wow. So, but, and so you, you weren't a drug user when you were in high school. Is that right? Or no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. No, I, I started using when I got to college uh, uh -huh. uh, and it was powder cocaine mm -hmm. and, you know, just snorting mm -hmm. that and, and drinking, you know, uh, mm -hmm. smoking marijuana mm -hmm. before games. And, and, mm -hmm. you know, that, that was my outlet. Mm -hmm. That was my outlet. Mm -hmm. So, as as you started using, was it you you was that the reason why you think that you didn't get selected for the MBA or? Oh no, no, you, it, it, you know, you look back at it and it wasn't God's will. It wasn't God's will. Okay, yeah, it wasn't God's will. You know, yes. and 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 every listen, mm -hmm. a lot a lot of good ball players is not going to make it to the NBA. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have anything to follow fall back on okay, okay. I, I did i didn't prepare myself for life mm -hmm. i didn't prepare myself for an eight-hour job mm -hmm. i didn't prepare mm -hmm. myself for that so everything now basketball. Huh? Everything yeah, I, th that's it everything was sports uh -huh. Uh -huh. everything uh -huh. so when i graduated march 19th 1982 you know now what am i going to do mm -hmm. i mean i was lost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you know I, I picked up that crack pipe you know, uh, uh -huh. um, in, in 84, uh -huh. 83, 84. And, and, you know, uh -huh. I had, I had another journey. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So did anybody reach out to you to, to help you with the plan? I mean, a plan B or no, you, no, nobody? no, oh, no, no, so, so no, you just, you were just, uh, focus I was on just, you, right. Well, you know, nobody prepared me. Uh -huh. Nobody ever talked to me about drugs. Yes. Nobody ever talked to me about alcohol and the uh -huh. effects that it has will have on you if you started down that road. I didn't I didn't have anybody, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, coming in and talking to the players uh -huh. about this, that and the other. Uh -huh. I, I, I just didn't have it. So, I, I mean, I didn't know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I didn't know what what um, what, what, what it was going to lead you to. Absolutely. Yeah. And like yeah. I said, I did. I, I just didn't have a plan B. Mm -hmm. I, I just didn't prepare. I didn't like school anyway. Uh -huh. And if I didn't get a scholarship, I know I wouldn't have went to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, you know, it's. Um, so if you could do it all over again, you would have a plan or. And, and oh, what, listen, you know, if I had, if I had to do it all over again uh -huh. and I would study my butt off, uh -huh. I would hit those books. I uh -huh. would go to classes every day. Uh -huh. I, I would just, I, you know, I would. I would have an ap academic scholarship. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, I, I would sit down and, and, and talk to people about this kind of job, that kind of job. Mm -hmm. You know, when I when I went to a house my freshman year, they said, well, what did you, what do your what do you want your degree to be? Listen, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So they just put me in recreation education. Mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about, you know, a major. Mm -hmm. Didn't know mm -hmm. nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And so what, I mean, you said that you were on drugs, you were homeless. What made, what turned your life around? What, what happened to make, to, to put you back on the right path? I was tired. Uh -huh. I, I was tired of, of being homeless. I was tired of stealing for my habit. I was uh -huh. tired of not taking baths. I was tired of fighting all the time. I was tired of going to the workhouse. I was tired of not having no money. I was tired of lying to people. I was mm -hmm. tired of begging. I was just tired. Mm -hmm. I was just, I was broken. I mm -hmm. was broken. And, mm -hmm. you know, so many times, you know, I always ask the Lord, if you just get me out of this, I promise you, I promise you. I, mm -hmm. But he knew, you know, he knew, he knew I was lying. He knew I just needed his help and what at this particular time. Uh -huh. But in 2008, I was just, I was tired. Uh -huh. And I was broken and I called on the name Jesus yeah. and, and he knew my cry. Uh -huh. He knew that I was desperate. Uh -huh. He yeah. knew that I wanted a way out. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he knew that he, the Bible says, I am the way, the truth and the life. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets to the father unless they come through me. Yes, yes. So he mm -hmm. is the way. So when I called on his name and I was mm -hmm. sincere about it, listen, I didn't have a taste for crack cocaine no more. I didn't have a taste for cigarettes no more. I didn't have a taste for alcohol no more. When I was baptized in the name of Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, uh -huh. the Bible says in Ezekiel 38, I think it is, he uh -huh. said, I will pour clean water on you and wash you from all your filthiness. Uh -huh. And I will cleanse you from all your idols. I will put a new spirit and a new heart in you. Mm -hmm. I will I will put my spirit within you. I will take out your stony heart and put a heart of flesh in to cause you to walk in my status. So he put a new spirit in me. Wow. He put a new heart in me so yeah. I can feel. Yeah. And I give him all the glory. Listen, yeah. Yeah. you know, and that's why it's so important that I talk to to kids. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, high school and whoever I can talk to, mm -hmm. because I tell these these kids, I've been your age. But mm -hmm. you've never been mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these kids oh, just don't understand. They don't understand. But but they they need somebody like you who has been through it, you know, and who that a lot of a lot of kids are interested in basketball. Yes. And so particularly those those that are uh, looking at basketball and you know the part about having another plan and, yes. and when you have a plan that's less stressful because when things happen and stuff does happen it it uh, with that other plan you just work your other plan don't you well you know the bible says without a vision we yeah. have to have a vision a vision you know not just not just playing ball uh -huh. but that education yeah. And they and you and you get that education. They can never take that from you. That's right. It's God. -given. They can never take my degree from Ohio State University from me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I didn't have a vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it sounds. You know what? You know who you sound like. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you who you sound like. You sound like Job. <laughs> in the bible you sound like that. <laughs> now, now, now what happened to you after you got saved what 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 happened were you married before when you were uh uh on drugs or did you get married no no i was uh i got married in 83 uh -huh, um, uh -huh. and we had a son todd jr uh -huh. and then we got divorced uh, uh -huh. because i just I couldn't, she couldn't handle the stress that I was putting on her because I was depressed, wasn't mm -hmm. playing pro ball, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so I, you know, and, and, you know, and then I started, you know, uh, messing with women that standing on corners. Mm -hmm. See that, that was, that was my thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and I'm gonna say it like this, the prostitutes, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's who I've dealt with for all those years. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I forgot what it was like to have a woman in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, you when you're dealing with, with the women of the night, or the street women, mm -hmm. you know, it's just you, you become the same. You know, you don't want nothing out of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you get so far gone that you think that you're going to die this way in the gutter or being shot in the head or be, or, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. You know, but, you know, I prayed and when I was locked up in 2008, I, I prayed for Eve, a help meet. And, you know, I went to Mount Zion and I met my wife. And, 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 and let me tell you something. Yes. She, she was walking down the aisle of the church and she turned around. Uh -huh. And I had a feeling that I have never, ever felt in my life. I mean, I just never felt this kind of feeling. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we talked and you know, three months later, July 18th, we got married and it's been 14 years. Oh, okay. Yes, praise yes, God. He praise the Lord. Find a wife, find a <laughs> and, 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 and I had that on my, that was I had, a blessing. Uh, well, see, I had that on my phone. Good thing. Good thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was sure. That was a blessing. Yeah. A blessing. Yeah. So, and so, what kinds of things are you doing now, and and uh, uh, with the, uh, in the community or? Well, you? we, my wife and I, for the last ten, maybe eleven straight years, we go out every Saturday morning. We feed the homeless. Oh. We go to homeless camps. 
Yeah. Uh, we get we we make sandwiches on Friday nights and 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 have chips and water. Uh, sometimes we make bacon and eggs. Uh, we have underwear. We have socks. Uh -huh. um, we have wash rags. We make goodie bags. But I'm gonna tell you something. We was collecting purses, uh -huh. and we was putting items in those purses for the women. Uh -huh. And one day, I handed this woman a purse, uh -huh. and she started crying because it took her back when she used to carry a purse. See, I don't know the importance of a purse, but women do. Yeah. And she yeah. started crying, and it just took yeah. her back how she was proud. I mean, proudful and. And, and, and working and, you know, mm -hmm. carrying a purse on her shoulder mm -hmm. made her feel and it took her back mm -hmm. to where she wasn't on drugs, where mm -hmm. she wasn't out in the streets, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and just just that purse itself, you know, uh, made her go back for that moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. what we do. And we, uh, we go out, uh, we go out Sunday mornings and I go to McDonald's and buy breakfast sandwiches and take it out Sunday morning. So Saturday and Sunday mornings, um, we go out and pray for people. Uh, we go out and witness to people. Um, we just do what the Lord has called us to do. He said, go out to the hedges and highways and compel them to come in so my church can be full. Yeah. You know, so that's what we that's what we do. And, and, and I love it. You love it. I, I, I know love you it. You get a feeling in your soul that's yes, like so good for your soul when you're doing that, not only for the person, but for your soul. It seems like it's food for your soul. Absolutely. You know? And it's not and it's not trying to get recognition. I don't yes. I don't like that. I don't yes. like getting recognized. It's just because uh -huh. I know, you know, I can tell them, listen, I know what it feels like to be homeless. Yes. I, yes. I, I know what it feels like not to take a bath for weeks. I know what it feels like for people not to trust you. I know what it feels like to look depressed and act depressed and you're funky and you're stinking. I know what it's like, mm -hmm. but I know a man and That's his right. name is Jesus. Yes, yes. Come on now. Yes, <laughs> I know. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you know what? I, what? What would you, if, I mean, being homeless and then been playing basketball and all that, what would you think, uh, what, 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 what could the community do to, 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 uh, when you're homeless, when we see people homeless and, and you, I know a lot of people walk by and maybe have to kind of put their nose up, what, what could we do to, to, to make their day better or make that? Well, stronger? you know what? We hug people. Mm -hmm. When we go out there to those camps. Mm -hmm. we hug people mm -hmm. and that might be the only hug that they get for the whole week oh. we we tell them how much they are loved yeah we, we we tell them that this is just a temporary thing mm -hmm. we we tell them that you know you it, listen if if you don't have a made-up mind that you want to get out of this yes you're going to stay in it yes yeah you know you have to have that willing mind to be sick and tired of being sick and tired of yes. being sick and tired. Yes. And yes. once you have that mindset, you know, uh -huh. now God can work with you. Uh -huh. You know, now, now you can say, okay, I'm going to rehab. Yeah. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to stay in there for six months. I'm mm -hmm. going to, I'm going to stay where, where I can go to sleep at night and wake up in the morning to mm -hmm. get on a routine. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're on drugs and alcohol, you're up all night and you sleep all day. Mm -hmm. So your body got, you know, when I was locked up my last time, we, I went to bed early. We had to go to bed by nine o'clock and we got up at 530 in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, just to get your body back to where that timetable was. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just, you know, I, I, I tell people my, my journey started when I was about eight or nine years old when I was molested. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not only that I can talk about drugs and alcohol, I can talk about being molested. Mm -hmm. I, I can talk about how being molested messed my mind up. Yeah. It took me to another a, another atmosphere. Oh. It took me to the place yeah. where I was dirty already and filthy. This thing and why me? You know, I'm just a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 I can I can identify with people who's been molested. Mm -hmm. It's a hurtful thing, ma'am. Listen, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna tell you a, a quick story. You know, and no, go on. And, and 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 to myself, you know, I said when I see this man. You know, when I get old enough, mm -hmm. I'm going to do some things to him. Mm -hmm. And I was baptized in 2008. Mm -hmm. And 
reading the word and studying the word. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. And in 2011, I saw, I saw this man walking down the street with his dog and he saw me. So he cussed through the alley. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I turned on, on the Allen Creek and I cornered him and I jumped out my car mm -hmm. and I gave him the biggest hug. Mm -hmm. And I said, I love you. Mm -hmm. See, the Lord didn't allow me to see this man until he knew I was ready to confront him. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says, you know, Father, please forgive them for they know not what they do. So yeah. I have to be able to forgive people mm -hmm. who wrongfully hurt it, try to hurt me. Yeah. 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 So if, if I don't forgive them and love them, I can't grow in Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, the devil can't use that situation with me no more. Mm -hmm. That's over with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's a soul that needs to be saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a soul that needs to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. No matter what he did to me or no matter what people uh, mm -hmm. does to us, mm -hmm. we are Christians. We, we have the, the, the belief and faith, you know, in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we have to be able to forgive and, and to move on and help other people. Okay. That right there wasn't for me. It was for somebody else when I yeah. tell these, my testimony. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, and it, and and it's and that's what God wants us to, to do is forgive, and and that's that's a big forgiving because I I, I had some people I told tell God I said do I have to <laughs> I said I'm trying to get a hundred and they put me down to fifty and so <laughs> so I, now I got to start all over again. <laughs> He told me, seriously, I forgave you. <laughs> That's, and, and there you go. He, he forgave us, didn't he? Yes, he did. And, yes, he, did. And, and he forgives us on a regular basis. Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. And, and you know what? You talk about lifting people up. And and I remember, I, I have to share this too. I remember I was with my cousin and it was a guy that was homeless. His face was deranged. He scared me. Mm -hmm. And so he was looking for some money, and I, I was really scared. And my cousin got out the car, the one that she was praying with, and she said, you're a good-looking brother. Look up, you know. Yes. God loves you. What happened, you saw his face turn into like it was like moon shape. It was like you could see the happiness yes. from, the, from the sadness in his face just speaking to him. And then she gave him her uh, almost her last dime. And so the next thing you know, people all in the filling station, we were all got down in our pocketbook and gave him some money. When That's he left. right. Yeah. So it wasn't that much, but, you know, it was just something you just never know. I mean, yeah. I, to hear that you were going through a situation like that, I mean, you would never think that you would because you, I mean, in the barber shops, everybody was talking about what a bad basketball player you were and, and you know, and never knew that you had had, had, had that kind of experience in your life. You yes, ma'am. But, but, you, but, you, but you had it to bless other people. Absolutely. You know? And it yeah. wasn't, that journey yeah. wasn't for me. It's for yeah. somebody else yeah. Yeah. that yeah. I can talk to. Yeah, you know, yeah. It was a hurtful thing going being embarrassed. Yeah. You know, people see people expect you to to have, do great things. Yes. Yeah. They they expect that out of you. Yeah. And then when they don't see you, they think you as a loser. Yeah. But yeah. there's a song by William uh, Sapp that says, "He's seen the best in me." That's right. When everybody else seen the worst in me. Yes. 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 So that's awesome. That's yes, awesome. Yes, ma'am. You know what? We saw the best in you. You had us in tears. We, you had us. I mean, people that I know that wasn't that didn't pick up the Bible. They was picking up the Bible <laughs> after you spoke. <laughs> I mean, you inspired everybody at that Hall of Fame well, in man, I, on Saturday. I mean, it was so moving. You could tell that the spirit of the Lord was working through you. It was. So I'd like to thank you for sharing that message. But I want, what was it like? What, how did it feel when you, when you were called and said that you were, were going to be a 2022 Hall of Famer for the Greater Columbus? Basketball? Oh, I was, I was really excited, uh -huh. you know, because, you know, um, like I said, you know, a long time ago, I wouldn't have came. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I wouldn't have shown up, uh -huh. you know. But but to ha you know it's and it's not it's not that particular award 
I mean, uh -huh. it is, but uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's what God has done for me to get to this point. Yes, yes. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's nice to have that award and, and uh -huh. ma'am, listen, uh -huh. you know, people are, are excited about, you know, what uh -huh. you have done, uh -huh. but I, I had to sit back and just, just ponder, Lord, listen, this is where you brought me to. Yeah. It's yes. not me, you know. Yes. Now people see me in a different way. Yes. Yeah. And, yes. and, and, and now, you know, and it was just a good feeling to uh -huh. know that um they they recognize me, you know, yes. and yes. but 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 God knew, you know, and to be able to hold my head up, to be yes. able to have a smile, yes. to be able to go outside and and, and not worried, the, like I said before, the Bible says my people should never be ashamed. Yeah. I'm not ashamed of my past anymore. Yes. Yes. I'm yes. not ashamed of it. Yes. I yes. used to be ashamed. I, people didn't see me. I always was in the house getting high and, uh -uh. you know, they did, they wonder what happened to Todd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people were wondering what happened to you. And then Absolutely. When you came in, people were so happy to see yes. you and, yes. the, and the brotherhood. The, the, I mean, that yes. basketball family and the, the coach. I mean, everybody was just like so. I mean, I was so glad to be in the room because there was so much love. Yes, in the ma room. People were hugging each other. It was like, <laughs> it was like a homecoming. I said, oh, uh, yes, you can tell the spirit of the Lord was all in that room. And it yes. Yes, it was. It yes, was. It was. It was. So, so, what? Where are you going from here? What do you plan to do after? I mean, I mean, uh, after the GCBLA uh, Hall of Fame, and you, you said you. Well, I'm, and... I'm going to continue to do what the Lord has called me to do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and that's to be a witness. Okay. I mean, that's that's my job now. You want to be a witness? You, know, you, and, are, and, you are a witness. You you you're witnessing right now. You know. Well, I, you, you, <laughs> you know, and, and and this is it. You know, this this basketball hall of fame again. It was it's fine. Uh huh. But can you imagine being and have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Oh, that's that's, that's the now that's, see that's the real hall of fame. That's a real that's a reward. That's the reward. That's the reward right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they yeah. have your name written in yeah. the last book of life. Yeah. That's the because all this is going to pass away. It's nice, yeah. the earthly yeah. uh, things are nice, but yeah. when you know that yeah. you're going to spend eternity with Jesus with, Christ, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh yes, that's that's the hall of fame that I'm going to make it to. That's the one, and, th and guess what? Then he say, "Well done, <laughs> not half done." <laughs> He'd say, "Well done." That's right. You know? That's right. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Yeah. So I mean, you, I mean, before we were taping, you said it's just a blessing to be out, able to get up, and you know, yes. and, they, and we every day you get up, you have you have one day to get it right, you know. Yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> it's, so, it's so wonderful that I just I, I'm so inspired by the the things that you're doing now and who you are, a good family man. man and, and and going out ministering to the to the homeless and telling them that you that you love them that you care about them to yes, you know, to look up you know uh, more we need more of that we need and we need people to tell the children that to, to have another plan you yes, know there you go it, you know and, yes, and, and, and and but you can't plan unless you pray over it let yes. god come over it because when you go through those hurdles in life you know you know that god loves you and he yes. said i came so you can have life and live it abundantly you yes, know so yes, that's it's so and i see him blessing you right now you know yes. Uh, yes, if, so, if somebody wants to call you for a speaker uh, to come and speak to some of the youth or or, or uh, do you have a number or you want to give that out or you want them to uh go oh, no no and, and that and that's fine okay, you know, okay. yes ma'am i you know i can um mm -hmm. give you my okay. wife's email or just give you my phone number okay okay I mean, that, yes ma'am Okay. That, that's that's fine. That's okay. that's 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 what we need to do is okay. to be able to speak to kids. Uh huh. That that that, that uh. That's all right. So we can put that email on the um on the uh, screen, or for people. Or you want? Yes, want man. To... You, now, do you have the email? You have the email. Yeah, I have the email. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll if put... you want to put that on the screen and send yeah. it out, listen. Yeah. Yeah. Please yeah. do. Yeah, cause I you, you know what you just for people the the youth to hear that. 
you know, to get them in the right direction. God yeah. bless you for doing that and for sharing your story. I mean, and I just, we're going to continue to lift your you and your family up. You're doing Thank some you. amazing things. Yes. Amazing things. And yes, ma'am. And, and so it's more uh, it's more than just basketball y'all <laughs> that's right <laughs> more than just basketball that's and thank right you, thank you uh todd Penn, for sharing your story yes, and telling us it's beyond basketball you know that's it's right more, it's about it's about the love that we give to each other and send yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am thank you so much you're so welcome and thank you for having me uh, Thank you for being on this yes, week's program of the S. Yolanda Robinson Show. Thank you. Thank you.